Hello everybody, this is Maniac 4 Bricks with a little behind the scenes of things going on. So while I've been doing a lot of cleanup around the Lego room, I've also been actually doing a lot of building. And I've been taking hours upon hours over the past couple of days of rebuilding old Lego themes and trying to find good places to display them around the room. I've actually went through the whole math of how many spaces can I display? How many themes do I want to display? How many of those themes can I fit in there? Or, if, uh, you know, it's better to shuffle it over one side to the other. If it's too big, what shelf does it go on? And things like that. So, this is still a work in progress, of course. Everything is. But it is getting into a position that I am much more enjoying than I had previously. So, I took out a lot of my power miners, adventurers, rock raiders, and uh, agents is next on the docket. But... I've already been taking a whole bunch of them out to move around the room, find their own places to display, and uh, see what happens. I've had a couple of these newer uh, units to put things in to shelve with. A big thank you to my friend for <clears throat> for sending them to me. And um, it's also been fun rebuilding a whole bunch of these sets. So this one, I keep going back and forth on... <laughs> How I feel about it, a bunch of these have been like, okay, I built it a second time now, uh, does it get any better, you know, than the first time that I built it. The uh, Dragon Fortress, still an incredible set. I also have another copy of the Jeep up there, another uh, set in there, the Aero Nomad, which fits very nicely up there. Um, Marvel still needs a bunch of work, that's just a matter of taking things out, building them, putting them back in, hopefully it fits. Um, that also goes with TMNT, it's going to go up there as well. Uh, Classic Space is pretty much where it needs to be with a little bit of tweaking here and there. It's got three spaceships in there right now, also with the small spaceship from the Benny spaceship. Um, there's two moon plates, one of them still has to go back up there, I just have to clean it. So it'll happen when it happens. Ninjago is actually going to move, I still have to approximate the space for it, but... Theoretically, those two sets from Ninjago, and there's technically a third one that goes along with the mountain, um, those sets from Ninjago should be able to move over to these units because they don't take up a wide amount of space and there's some other base plates and things that do, so I would rather put Pharaoh's Quest in here. I have already rebuilt almost all the Pharaoh's Quest sets. They have a few pieces here and there missing. A bunch of these sets I have noticed while rebuilding them. Some pieces have been missing and they go from, ah, it's not that big of a deal. It's common. I can find that very easily in my collection, even with big sets like the Temple of Anubis, to, wait, why can't I find an entire set? I almost feel like I have half a set here. This is bogus. Power Miners, I'm not going to go into the story with it, but I had lent them for some time to somebody years and years ago, and when things went haywire, they gave them back to me, but they literally just threw them into a trash bag and left it on their front porch. So that means some pieces have been damaged, some pieces have been missing, and because of the nature of it being in a bag, which I had to transfer into a box, and then transferred between moves, some pieces have been missing, um, falling out from one container into the next, so, I don't, I know that not every one of my Power Miner sets was complete a long time ago. But the ones that I grew up with still had pieces missing. And that's not good. Some of the other ones, like the Claw thing, Claw Catcher, or the Titanium Command Rig, I already knew both of those were used and incomplete. Boulder Blaster, I think, had a couple more pieces to it. I think it was nearly complete. So, there's some things I need to uh, find for those again. And some of the pieces aren't super rare or anything like that but i know it's just going to be more of an annoyance of trying to find them throughout uh di various bins that are unsorted with different lego pieces so it'll happen when it happens but i've gone through the instructions to build as much as i can out of them i do have a couple of other pieces around that were in those containers and i don't think they belong to anything right now but i'll figure it out sometime later i would love 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 to complete that um that mighty micros vehicle it was uh it was with bane and i forget who else robin maybe S uh, somebody else but bane was the one driving that vehicle which is a miniature version of the thunder driller which is why i want to put it up with the power miner stuff i just got to find a few more pieces for that i had that set a long time ago pieces have fallen off got to fit it back on for some reason i have two copies of that um that vehicle from the lava Traz set which i didn't realize i when i got the lava Traz, i remember having it nearly complete 
when I bought it, like, before moving here, like, two years ago. And that's cool and all, but I didn't realize that that other vehicle was included or somehow wound up in here. I'm not sure how, but I'm, I'm actually digging it. I, <laughs> I like that there's a second vehicle, number 16, just to monitor around the base and have a smaller digger vehicle in general. Um, posing is not a very easy thing for me to do with a lot of these shelves. Uh, case in point with the Bionicle shelves over in the corner, I've had a tough time of trying to fit everything on there while still having some action or, you know, something more dynamic to go with it. And some of these things have fallen over over time. Some of them, they need a little bit more space. Sometimes I have to add another thing in there and I forget about it. And then I'm like, ah, oh, what else am I supposed to do with it? So... I don't think the shelves are going to be necessarily in the best of posing position, like, or anything. Something like the Adventurer shelf is probably what I'm going for. It has the sets on there. You can tell that there's a whole bunch of different sets in place. They still have enough breathing room between them, but they could still integrate with each other, and that's okay. But that one is still going to go underway as far as working on things. Uh, again, finding pieces, tweaking things. So I like where it's at right now. I also do like adding in the Temple of Gloom set from Studios. It just feels very Johnny Thunder-esque. So I thought that was a fun thing to add in here specifically. Um, I do have other Adventurer sets technically in my collection. I don't have any of them prepared as far as building status goes. So I'm not going to worry about, oh, I got to make more space for this, or I got to add more stuff up here. Yeah, technically I own them, but I don't have them ready right now, and I'm okay with that. I'll work with this as it is. Rock Raiders, it does technically have a bit more. I do want to complete for that. Rock Raiders HQ has actually been built a while ago, and then when I tried to integrate it in here, some things fell off, so I have to repair it. Um, behind that bag is actually most of a Chrome Crusher, which I just need to find pieces to complete building it. Other vehicles, like the Rapid Rider, I still need to build from scratch. Um, trying to remember what else there was in that theme. Granite Grinder and Loaded Dozer, they're around somewhere. Uh, Granite Grinder, even less so. That one I'm going to have to part back together. I've definitely had that one since youth. And Loaded Dozer, I've had two. I've had up to like four or five copies of it. So that should be a no-brainer for putting that back together and getting that more complete in that area. Um... But for right now, yeah, Ninjago, that's going to move over here in one of these areas um, where it's going to have, instead in that place, it's going to be Pharaoh's Quest. So it has definitely a lot of the old and new of uh, adventurers type and underground type themes, you know, across this side. Uh, agents, I already have the Agents helicopter over there. I'm going to shuffle around a whole bunch of these other things on the shelves. I don't need all of those to be displayed right now. But I do want to put Agents up on display in some fashion. And I think that's probably the best spot for it is that wooden shelf in the back. Especially considering not just that helicopter, but the undercover van and the submarine from the Deep Sea Quest are really long, so it might not fit so well in one of these kinds of containers. The other thing to note, yes, I have the office in there, and it looks like, oh, I'm just wasting a lot of space on top of it, or even with the, the sitcom cars and, you know, like the movie cars and things like that up here. I actually have a plan that I'm going to take a base plate, at, like a 32 by 32 base plate or so, um, and max out the space in here, try to make, like, a brick-built support and then have an extra layer halfway through in here technically these kinds of units are supposed to have one already but i didn't have those provided and i can't really find parts for them anywhere so i'm just going to use my own bricks uh, if i make it sturdy enough then i'll have like a half shelf in there and i could put more stuff in the same cube so that'll work out just fine uh there's another agent set over here that i want to put up volcano base has already been assembled it's been assembled for so long <laughs> And uh, really needs to come back out. That would be amazing to make an Inferno shelf with, like, the volcano base, the, the, the robot, the, the, the swamp base. You know, all that kind of stuff would be cool to set up on its own in there. Or even sprinkling around. I'll figure it out. I, I have a lot of agent stuff to go through. Mars Mission is something that I've considered in this space, but I don't think it's really going to happen. As much as I enjoy the Mars Mission theme and I have a lot of it completed, I don't think it's going to work. Not just the Eagle Command Base. I know that one's already too much for space to put up anywhere. So that would uh, be out of the question already. But even if I took the other sets in there, 
I don't think it would really work out so well. Maybe I'll build them and put some videos to them or something like that. I do still want to make video reviews of a lot of these different sets when I get them more complete and I have a little more research and information with them. But that's going to take some time. And uh, I've been inspired by people like Trick Bricks and RR Slugger and a couple of other YouTubers to try to up the video review qualities. But that, again, is going to take more time in order for me to do so. Um... Underwater stuff, I have a couple other ones that I want to put in here and uh, integrate. So there's like a little bit of uh, Alpha Team. There's a bit of Aqua Zone that I want to put in here. Um, Atlantis is going to go up here once I get those built. So I'll figure that all out. It may seem like a wreck, but it is actually getting somewhere. I may put up Western because I have some Western stuff here. And it's technically Western stuff inside this bin. If it fits in here, I'll try it, but I don't know right now if that's going to happen. Uh, some other piece of furniture might also move around here and there. And then I'll finally unearth the Studside Heights and actually get more of the beach town actually built. Um, I did build Loot Island recently because I was like, oh yeah, I have some pirate stuff. And I, I definitely have more pirate stuff, especially from this specific year of it. That was a great year. I love those sets. Um... That would probably go up here, but it's, it's, uh, you know, TBD. So, let me see if I can walk my way out of here. So you can see here I did build the Pharaoh's Quest sets, which actually didn't take too long. Not just in the matter of there aren't that many sets, but most of them are relatively small. This is probably the heaviest, like, between the Scorpion Pyramid and the, the Sphinx. They're definitely the biggest contenders as far as, like, piece count, because... I mean, they're, they're basically flagship sets, but also they just have a more integrate build um, to them. Some things like the Jeep here was already built when I found it. So it was like, oh, okay, yeah, it's, it's all done. Or, you know, most of the half track was ready to go. So that wasn't a big deal. You know, uh, the Cobra statue was almost entirely built except for a little bit in the middle. That You know, that wasn't that bad. So... I would love to put that up. I would love to talk more about that. I've been meaning to do that for years, ever since I got the Scorpion Pyramid and before I got the Sphinx. I've been meaning to do video content based on Pharaoh's Quest, specifically. But uh, it'll happen when it happens, and I'm looking forward to it all the all the same. A uh, bunch of power miners in here. Again, some pieces are missing. I had this Jeep that was from the City Volcano series. It just had the same color scheme as power miners. It just kind of stuck with those uh sets so i don't know maybe i'll repurpose it for that instead there was a crystal reaper that was in with the power miner sets and most of the pieces are here if i remember correctly maybe some of them are scattered across the cosmos for all i know um but this is a marth mission set i'm not worried about this one right away but I would like to talk about this at some point because it's one of those cool sets that integrates a bunch of features and I have a bunch of things I'd like to talk about it. See, this is what I mean when I say I have a lot of agent sets. These are, well, mostly full. And then this is like almost entirely full of agents Lego sets. I love this theme. Um, almost more than Alpha Team, not gonna lie. <laughs> um, Maniac's work is never done, am I right? All right. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good one and uh, have a good weekend.